the Triple M Grill Team. Now, Bubba, Stuart Broad has come out and he started speaking about the fact that he, he nicked that ball all those test matches ago. What? And he nicked no it? Way. Like, did he? So we go, well, thanks, thanks, Stuart. Thanks for the tip on that one. But I loved what he said after that, and you might not have picked up on it. He said, look, I'm sure by the time the team arrives in November in Australia that all the Australian public would have forgotten about that and he won't get a hard time. Well, if you see Stuart, could you just let him know that we've got pretty big memories here and we haven't forgotten? Certainly our players haven't forgotten. They're calling him everything under the sun as they go past. So uh, I hope the Australian public are the same because that was just blatant cheating. Um, you know, that, that's what, you know, I don't advocate walking, but when you hit it the first slip, it's pretty hard. Um, so from my point of view, I hope the Australian public just give it, give it to him right from the word go for the whole summer. Well, and I hope he cries and goes home. The first, <laughs> the, the, the first day at the Gabba is free tomato day. They're giving yes. tomatoes out outside the ground. So let, just let him know that, would you, Buff? And lemons. Perfect. We'll get we'll get the whole lot for him. I, I just hope everyone gets stuck into him because the way he's carried on and the way he's commented on the public about it, I mean, it's ridiculous. He knew he hit the slip, and all all the person, you know, the biggest problem there is the poor umpire cops all the all the crap that he gets in the paper, uh, and Stuart Broad makes him look look like a fool. So, from my point of view, it's poor. So I hope the public actually gets stuck into him. The Triple M Grill Team.